What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. Tonight's tutorial we're going to be taking a look at Plank, the default dock application found in elementary OS Luna. Now if you're using Plank in any distribution, I know when I was running Manjaro Linux, the XFCE spin actually used Plank by default. So this tutorial will work for you. It's not elementary specific. Now one of the things that elementary supports is being able to work with folders. Now that's most evident with the default um, file manager here which would be Pantheon Files. Now if I open up uh, Pantheon Files and then I right click on it in Plank, you see that it gives me this nice contextual menu and allows me to open up um, my Dropbox, anything found in this left uh, pane here of Pantheon Files I can access. So I can go right into my documents if I wanted to for instance. So what happens if we wanted to drag another folder in here? Say we wanted to make a, a specific folder for certain applications. Now this is almost like Mac OS X or even the newer versions of Android. Okay, So I'm going to show you how we accomplish that. First things first, let's fire up a, a terminal. Now you can do this uh, in a graphical way as well, but it's just as easy to do it in a terminal. So I'm going to bring you guys in here a little bit closer just so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to create a directory. We're going to do that with the command mkdir. And I'm going to call this uh, multimedia. But the important part is I'm going to put a period before the name of the file. In Linux, if you want to hide a file or a folder, just put a period in front of it. And that's going to hide it. OK, so because I haven't specified a particular path for this directory, it's going to go directly in the root of my home folder. I'm going to call this multimedia. So if we come over to our file manager here and we hit control plus H on the keyboard, that's going to show all the hidden files and folders. Everything should be alphabetical and we can see the, fo uh, the folder multimedia. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go into my file system and I'm going to go into USR and then I'm going to go into share and I'm going to go to the applications directory. What you want to do once you're in this particular directory is we can copy anything we'd like. So I'm going to copy uh, by uh, selecting control on my keyboard and then left clicking with my mouse. Audacity. We'll do Blender. Again, I'm continuing to hold the control key, whoop, the control key down on my uh, keyboard. We will do, let's see, we'll do GIMP, we'll do Handbrake. Movie player, mini tube, open shot, VLC, and that's it for now. We're going to copy these. We're going to come back to our home folder. Again, Control H, scroll down to where it says multimedia, and we're going to paste these in. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're now this. This uh, admittedly uh, works when it decides that it wants to, so this may take a few tries, but we're going to drag this folder down into the dock here. Oh, it worked right off the bat on that one. Now, the one thing you can't do is grab and rearrange it, which is kind of annoying. Um, so <clears throat> what I normally do is I move all the other applications here in Plank until I get this particular folder to where I want it. So if you click on it now, Let's come back up to files, hit control H again. Now I named the, I made that folder hidden because I don't want to see the multimedia folder here in uh, the file manager. I just, I want it hidden. So now we come back down to plank and you've got this nice little drawer, if you will, very similar to something you would find in Android or even Mac OS X. Now when we click on that, it's going to give us a contextual menu and we can click on any one of these applications for instance we'll click on audacity and it opens audacity or movie player and so on this is something that you can do to kind of minimize the amount of space that applications take up in plank if you like to keep this kind of a small area and you don't like to have a huge row of icons and you want to group things uh, i usually have an not usually, but I started using an internet folder. So I have things like my web browser and XChat and uh, Empathy all in there. And of course you have multimedia. You can go into OpenShot, things like that. So that's how you use folders within Plank.
I hope this video was helpful. If so, take a second and hit the subscribe button if you like to see regular content and tutorials like these. Give the video a thumbs up. That helps me out. And as always, I appreciate your support, and thanks for watching.